In today's episode, a race will be totally balanced. A car will not comply by European emission standards. And a motorcycle will have more displacement than the Atlantic Ocean. Meet Dylan. Other than building Miata boats, Miata monster trucks, making Miatas do skateboard tricks and generally just being a red guy, he solved the issue of Miatas being barely noticeable in traffic, where big SUVs and trucks dominate nowadays. So, he took some lamps usually used for your mama's car, which is a cruise ship, and put them on a Miata. To make it look more realistic, he even crafted the housing out of painted cardboard. And of course, they actually work. By the way, Dylan is giving away this very first generation Miata, so go to his criminally underrated channel and check out all the the crazy videos he did so far. Also, by entering the giveaway, you support more of his crazy ideas for the future. Hit it! Wow! <laughs> they work so good! Here's a view from the driver's seat. You can still see the road. Kinda? They work! During the 2022 F1 race in the US, Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll, which in this year are in the same team, had a scary collision, where Alonso's car was almost thrown into the air. Nobody was injured, thanks to modern F1 safety standards. However, it is just scary to think what would happen if Alonso's car actually took off, just like Mark Webber did over 10 years ago. Eight hundred fifty horsepower seems like a lot until you put it next to ten thousand horsepower. That's precisely what Snap-on Tools organized: a drag race between a eight hundred fifty horsepower trophy truck and a nitrous funny car. You cannot really measure the exact power of it, but it should have around ten thousand horsepower. I'm waiting for the first Miata owner to swap its engine with that thing. Chevrolet Chevelle had a feature called cowl induction, or whatever it's pronounced. Essentially, this is a flap that opens up when the driver applies the throttle. At higher speeds, it helps to suck in more air from the high pressure area right in front of the windshield. And at slower speeds, it helps to remove warm air from the engine. Also, for no reason at all, I looked up whether someone did some sort of active hood vents on a Miata. And yes, it exists. Pretty cool. This is a 1979 Ford Bronco with a big block engine, insane wheels and suspension that allow it to not only go to the local grocery store but also the wheelies. Also, the way it behaves reminds me of radio controlled monster trucks. During a mud drag racing competition, one of the competitors' car in the supercharged category flipped in quite a spectacular way. The driver was fine, by the way. Brandon Miller without the wheelie bar. Watch this. This truck driver from Austria knows every single centimeter of his truck. This Mitsubishi Lancer is so fast that the window just simply flies off at every pass. On a serious note, I am sure that it's already fixed. Now, the results, quarter mile in 9.7 seconds. It's quite insane considering the surface doesn't seem to be prepped.
This is the creation of Reftop Industries. Their main job is to end the overpopulation of Chevrolet Silverados. The coolest way they help this cause is by swapping a Dodge Demon engine into one of those trucks. For extra cooling, the radiator has been mounted carefully to not obstruct the driver's vision, and the turbo is mounted 10 feet above the ground to make sure it gets to breathe the best air possible. When designing the MR2, Toyota's engineers focused on making the car widely unpredictable when cornering. This is something bad drivers use as an excuse. The truth is, like with many MR2 crashes, the drivers often just suck. That being said, it's not exactly an easy car to drive on the limit. The 6.6-liter Duramax diesel monster of an engine usually finds its place in trucks. However, this team put it into a top fuel dragster. It may not be as crazy fast, but it will probably beat your uncle's Corvette. Here's a scary slide caused by the driver getting distracted by another crash. Here's a lesson I learned only after getting my second Miata which is equipped with a turbo. You don't need a lot of power to have fun. While I struggle to put down the power, I would argue it's more fun to push a stock Miata to the limit. Just like this 1.6 liter second generation Miata owner sliding with an open differential. There is nothing more American than a motorcycle powered by a 502 big block engine. Editor, can we get a bararararam? -ra this is a creation from Estonia. To me, it looks like a repurposed shell of a Volkswagen T4 bus and its 2.5 diesel engine mated to two tracks. I want this. I love seeing things on drag racing tracks that shouldn't belong there. One time it is a Formula 1 car, one time it's a stock Miata, and one time it is the most famous monster truck of all time, the Grave Digger. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.